What's up, people? Welcome back. Well, let's see. We have Zubuntu, Lubuntu, Ubuntu, Kubuntu. Um, are you confused yet? Yeah, me too. Goodbye. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Well, welcome back to another edition of the Ubuntu for Dummies 2014. So if you are new to the world of Linux and have heard about Ubuntu or something like it, you have come to the right place. All right briefly to keep it simple hopefully you have looked at the first video Ubuntu for Dummies 2014 an introduction to get you started if your machine has a gigabyte of RAM or less you will want to install Zubuntu or Lubuntu if your machine has a gigabyte of RAM or more preferably more you can try Ubuntu or Kubuntu Actually, if your machine has enough RAM, you can try just about anything in Linux and you should be okay. The threshold here, from my experience, seems to be the one gigabyte RAM mark. So if you have really less than a gig, that's, that's what it comes down to from my experience. Stick with Zubuntu or Lubuntu. If you, have a, if you have a gigabyte of RAM or more, then really Ubuntu, Kubuntu, or actually anything should run fine on your machine. If you've really, really been used to the Windows XP experience and how it looks, oh, probably Zubuntu might be the one to go with. Uh, I like something called the Whisker menu. Lubuntu would certainly want to try out, try out. Also, I just happen to be a fan of the Whisker menu. If you are coming from a Windows XP environment. That's it for this one. If you have any questions, post them below. Continue to watch. There will be more Lubuntu for Dummies 2014 tutorials coming up. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Subscribe if you haven't. Please support this channel with a small donation if you found this useful. It helps maintain the channel. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.